Hi friends, we are talking about a very interesting topic and currently very relevant COVID-19 uh, SARS virus is spreading again in India and other parts of the world. Um, so I am reporting to you about uh, journals which have done a lot of studies on stem cells in patients with COVID-19 and uh, I shall discuss with you about this which is very important to the frailty induced inflammation feedbacks disrupting the immune system tissue repair and homeostasis stem cell exhaustion is one process that mediates the frailty reducing immunomodulatory secreted factors the number of immune cells and repairing capabilities as limited source of stem new differentiating cells. This compromise of these three processes favors the chronic inflammation process that feedback on the frailty features through oxidative metabolism and cytokine cascade. So SARS-CoV-2 research using human pluripotent stem cells and organoids reveal that using physiologically relevant uh, human embryonic stem cell or induced pluripotent stem cell and uh, they have shown very good results on COVID patients. This SARS-CoV-2 infects the upper airway model derived from uh, IPSC, induced pluripotent stem cells and uh, so they create a cascade of events as I told you in in vivo the umbilical cord mesenchymal stromal cells as a critical adjuvant therapy for COVID-19 patients a randomized controlled trial was done showed that acute respiratory distress syndrome in COVID-19 patients is caused by a cytokine storm and this umbilical cord mesenchymal stromal cells influence pro-inflammatory cells to shift to an anti-inflammatory agent. So this umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells was given for the experimental group and normal saline for the control group. On result, it showed a whopping 2.5 times more significant higher survival rate in the experimental group which were given the mesenchymal stem cells than the control group. So these mesenchymal stem cells act by immunomodulation and anti-inflammatory effect. So potential mechanism of this is it the SARS-CoV-2 enters through receptor mediated endocytosis via interactions with cell surface protein called the angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptor with assistance of transmembrane protease thus triggering a complex immune response involving T cells, dendritic cells, natural killer cells and macrophages. Engineering mesenchymal stem cells with immunomodulatory molecules enhance the efficacy of homing to damaged tissues or cells and attenuate or decrease the cytokine storm ultimately improving the patient's outcome in the eye of the storm SARS-CoV-2 infection is shown in uh, the ocular surface infecting the eye the surface epithelium so mesenchymal stromal cells delivered via an ex vivo bioreactor preclinical test system attenuates clot formation for intravascular application so hence it is better to use the exosomes rather than adult mesenchymal stem cells the induced pluripotent stem cells which are embryonic in nature they decrease the uh, ability to form a clot and uh, hence exosomes IPSC is better 
than the mesenchymal stem cells that the study shows. This, the author reports that mesenchymal stem cells derived from adult source expresses high levels of uh, ACE2 which could facilitate the SARS-CoV-2 entry compared to uh, the embryonic cell derived iPSC. Later population could be the most ad adequate source for cell therapy of severe COVID-19 infection. So dear friends, this is a huge breakthrough for people who have who are getting affected by COVID-19 or the SARS virus. Thank you, Dr. Sashi. For more details, contact us at the number given below.